from the hollers and hills of West Virginia, it's Heavenly Hills Homestead with another episode. Stay tuned. Boom! guys so we're getting ready for this arctic cold blast it's getting ready to come and hit us and, uh, we've gotten uh got our extension cords here we're running them down to the pigs and to the waterers out here so uh i'm gonna get them some new water in here and uh get that turned on and it'll keep the water nice and warm we shouldn't have any issues out of that and what I'll do, just to make sure it stays warm and protected from the wind, I'm going to grab that over there off of that pool and put it over here on this one so it stays nice and warm. I'm going to drag this cord down to the pigs in the blue barrel, and we'll give them a heater as well into their water. Then we're going to start doing some more uh, work around here. going to have to pull this cage over here because some of them chickens go in that roost still. We'll put that over here. We'll put, uh, we'll fix it all up. So all let's right. get to it. Got it loaded up there off the bell. Now let's see, that thing is pretty tall there. Completely, almost just about disappeared that other bell behind it there. It's a, it's a lot. I'm gonna take it down here and give it for the rabbits, the goats, the pigs, everything. Just give it some more bedding and stuff. Uh, I can buy another bell for. 40 to 45 bucks can't buy another animal well you can but you can't if you know what i mean so uh, i'm gonna get some chickens uh bedding with this and and everything's gonna get some bedding so let's do this it. puts it in a little bit better perspective how much that is so all right let's get to it there oh man fingers are already freezing there all right, here we go yeah it's pretty Pretty heavy, I'd say about at least two, 250 pounds at least. If not more. We'll make a stop here at the chickens first. And then on from there. Shoo. Go to the rabbits and the chickens and make sure everybody's got some cover. Guys, with chickens, you wanna remember deep bedding look how deep this is i got it all the way up to the roost poles here i have a little spot back there where they can go and bed down behind and make nests they'll take all this and we're going to keep piling it up in here just a little bit more probably get it up right underneath the roost poles but they'll be able to have places to get in and hide they'll be able to hide under here they'll be able to hide under here back in there deep bedding up here look how deep that bedding is up there you want to make sure you have deep bedding We'll probably put a heat lamp up there tonight, I think. We'll see if uh, if we get time for that or not, I, unless my wife didn't get the bulbs. They might not have had bulbs at the store. we got to find out. If they did, we'll put a heat lamp up here, and that'll help keep them warm up there if they get up there. Um, and we will try to block at least that top half air off uh, with something as well. They got all the nesting material that they could need or want. Everything is full, full, full. All right, all the nests are full. And so we'll, we'll just find holes like here, stuff more hay and, and stuff. Let them get out of the weather. Let them be able to come in and get warmed up. They need a windbreak. 
all those yahoos over there they all got to come over here we got to get all of them over here so all them ones that's over by that cage and stuff we're going to bring that cage over here set it beside this cage here and uh and start filling them up we'll put the tarp on both of these and cover them both real good and then move on from there come on honey come on baby come on good girl good girl she's like yeah i'm following you because i don't know anybody else <laughs> come on baby come on come on yeah it's a good baby yeah come on come on flower Yeah, she's a good, good girl. Beautiful color, too. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. This way. Come on. We're going to take you to your buck. Come on. We're going to take you to your buck. Oh, yeah. They're hollering for each other. Listen. Listen to them holler. They're hollering. They're saying, hey, lover boy. Hey, lover boy. Come on. Come on. Come on, over here. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, honey. Come on, honey. Come on, honey. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. I think she might be in heat. Come on, baby. Come on, honey. Come on. Come on, big girl. Come on. Come on, good girl. Come on, baby. Just get you in here to your buck. Here's your buck. Oh, y'all gonna make pretty babies. Look at you. You a pretty buck. And you're a pretty doe. Or her ears are a whole lot bigger than his. Hey, baby. I got you. It's okay. Come here. It's all right. Come here. Come on. Meet your buck. Hang on, baby. I'm coming. We're, we don't need to pull that up. Just I will, I'll lift her over. I think she wants to get in there to him. Oh, look. They're kissing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on yeah, it's a pig. You don't want no part of that nasty pig. Come on, baby. All right, let me help. I think old lover boy's like, hey, 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 baby. What's going on, lover boy? Oh, lover boy. What are you doing, lover boy? <laughs> You've never seen a mound of hay like that, have you, girl? Huh? Oh, he's getting ready. He's getting ready to greet her. Watch him. Told you she's in heat. Look at that tail straight up in the air like that. Well, let's see what you made out of there, full metal. He's like, well, uh, I think this is how it goes, but I'm not quite sure. Yeah. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> yep, water's there. That is the one with the eye. Remember I said the one with the eye? Yeah. Look at the eye. Uh, it, which one? The last one. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Stick head through to get the water. We're probably gonna have to put it on the other side. So on the yeah, see it? I told him. I said, Oh, yeah, the one with the eye. He's like, Oh, no, 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 not that one. Hey, baby, it's all right. It's all right. It's okay. No, I don't think she's going after that. I think she's wanting to get out. <laughs> she's like, I don't want to be here. This is not where I want to be. Yeah, that is got to be the one with the eye. Let me 
you see. You're a little closer here. Yeah, it has to be. Hey, baby. How you doing, girl? See her eye? Yeah, her eye's a little different. There's something wrong with it. Well, uh, Mr. Man, uh, you acted like you was old Billy Bad Butt there for a minute, and now you ain't doing nothing. Why are you dumping all your food out again, knucklehead? Good grief. Hey, baby. What are you doing, girl? Hmm? Y'all see your left eye there? It's just Different. Like the skin stays over it. Mm-hmm. Halfway over it. She's got that tail straight yeah. up in the air, buddy. She's, she's ready to breed bread. I don't know why her tail stays up. Because she's ready and waiting for somebody to do their job. When there was two males in here, all y'all did was do that to each other. <laughs> now that there's a female in here, you ain't doing nothing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Got a major spring here. Got to get this fixed. Tell me what I need. This right here goes into the house. All right, it's split right there. Okay, Sonny, there's the split. 11.30 at night. I hear feeding them, rewatering them all. Fed them this morning, watered them the best we could this morning before the uh, water got completely frozen. I'll show you what happened there. Water got completely frozen. We spent pretty much all day from 10.30 until, uh, until uh, 9 o'clock tonight fixing it up. And then once I finally got the water back on, I heated them up five gallons of water and brought them food and water down here. And brought him food and water, which he's done dumped over. So, knucklehead. But uh, it is what it is. But that's just what you got to do. The other ones, the girls are up there. They're eating. Um, their livestock uh, tank is completely froze up. It uh, that the submersible pump did not work. It did not work one bit. Here they are eating on their food there. And so uh, everybody's looking good and doing good. You just got to feed them twice a day. When it's cold like this, they need that corn. You know, if you're feeding them corn, you need to, well, you need to be feeding them corn. They need that corn for the heat, and that's what generates heat. And this thing here is, it's it's frozen solid, even with that. Look there. I mean, it, you can see the cracks in it and everything. It, it got that livestock that uh, livestock tank heater in there, and it nothing. It does not work. It does not provide enough heat in this kind of weather to to keep the water running. So you got to get them some buckets and then they just dump the buckets over yeah, and they get enough uh, I reckon before they dump it over anyhow um, this is part of it we got the chickens completely locked up uh, they're they're completely locked up and uh, uh, the little ones are it is and then the, the bigger ones are um, they're in there you see their little ones I got to pull, pull that down there y'all eating in there yeah, y'all's eating. Good, 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 good. See how they're eating back in there? I'll keep going eating there. Back down there somewhere. We've got food piles everywhere. Everything gets to eat. Ducks done cleaned it out. Everybody's huddled up. Check on everybody up here. Yeah, I can't see nobody up there. Anybody over here? I have to go look. So, see if we can find. And the rest of them, see if we can get any eggs because I didn't get a chance to look for eggs earlier today. Let's see here. Oh, it's froze. There it goes. There's one girl. There, no egg there. You can see there's something. Where's my, where's my girl at? Get up off there. There's the eggs. There we go. Good girl. 
and it ain't froze. She's just sitting on. Good girl. Where's the silky at? Where's my silky girl at, huh? Let's see. Have to find her. All right, well, let's All right, get on. Guys, with it. fixing some oatmeal here. As you can see, that's old timey oats here. What that says? It says old, old, old fashioned oats. And uh, we're heating it up in here on our, on our thing. Uh, this is a propane heater that we got in the well propane cooker we got in the house. We're heating, we're cooking them on that. But uh, let me turn the heat down here just a touch. There we go. Anyways, we're uh, we're cooking with it, and we're heating up some oats for the animals because they're going to need them. They've been out there in this cold, cold weather, negative 30 degrees the past two days, and yeah, you know, this oatmeal here. While it won't go bad, and we could use it, we're not using it right now. And so we'll we'll give it out here to the animals. We're going to help give them some good heat, give them some good energy, and, uh, you know, just warm them up some, you know. Just help them, just kind of a, a booster, a morale booster, right? I couldn't imagine being out there in, in uh, this kind of weather and being freezing out there like that. That just... That would just stink. I don't know. I think I can get one more in there. What do you reckon? Don't worry about one. I'll take this one here. So we're just going to go out there and give them a little something. Make them happy. And then we'll have to go and get a part. And fix the, the stinking... Uh, I don't know what it's called now. I didn't forget. Regulator. Pressure regulator. And once that's fixed, we'll be able to do the rest of our Christmas Eve. <laughs> Hopefully, nice and warm and toasty, we hope. So, it got down to 53 degrees in the house that we know of last night. We were all piled up in one big, in one of the, our big bedroom there. and Everybody looked like Eskimos when they went to sleep. So, but thank God we're over the worst of it, and it's... It's gotten up to a whole 12 degrees today, man. We're thankful. The power was kicking off last night every uh, every 20 minutes, and then it got so bad to where they were kicking it off every 10 minutes. The power company was kicking them off every 10 minutes. All right, we'll cut this heat off now. We're just going to let it sit. Off, off. All right, now I'm just going to let it sit there and just keep on stirring it. This is a big old pot full of oats and they're gonna give some to the chickens the geese the ducks the pigs the goats everybody's gonna get a little bit of a little bit of oats this morning you know get a nice bit in their belly and get them warm so that's what we're gonna do we'll take you out in a minute and we'll show you what we what we do when we give it to them all right so Get a little bit of oatmeal in there with their scratch and stuff. And they should eat it. The other ones are eating it. Getting them warm. Nice and toasty, eh? Gotta get nice and toasty, eh? Come on, guys. Eat up your food there, eh? Come on. Take this inside and get it warmed up. Back in here. Yeah, I hear you, big boy. Any eggs back in here? Don't see no eggs. Not from y'all. It's a shame. You guys should really be laying some eggs here. I don't know what's the problem. Why you're not laying eggs? Getting distressing. I can tell you that now. Better go down there and get you something to eat there, Pedro. Eat your oatmeal, ain't it? Huh? That's good stuff, ain't it? That's good stuff, yeah. Y'all like oatmeal. Oatmeal's good, ain't it, baby? Huh? Yeah, oatmeal's good. Yeah. Oatmeal's good, ain't it, honey? Well, 
Why you want old troublemaker? Why you want old troublemaker? Huh? Why you want old troublemaker? That's good stuff, ain't it, flower? Yeah. That's a good girl. <laughs> Alright, I gotta go get y'all some hot water and bring out here to you. Eat your oats and I'll get you some hot water and bring you out. Liking your oatmeal there, fat boy. Yeah, you're guzzling it down there, ain't you, big boy? Girls sound like they like theirs too. Check everything else, make sure everything else likes it. Yep, they're liking it. Chickens are liking it. <laughs> They're eating it up there. These chickens up here are eating it. So good, good to go. Everybody's liking the oatmeal. Oatmeal was a fan favorite. Cool beans. All right, Al, I just found another leak. This goes up to my toilet. I can got this piece right here. Let me zoom you out here. Got that piece right there I could unscrew it from. Comes down here into this elbow right here. And then runs, it's that half inch, I guess, is what that is. It runs up here, and you can see there's a stream right there, and then it goes, and it ends right there. That's where it's leaking at, right there. And you can see it. One more thing here. This right here is leaking. Oh, crap. Oh, man. Jaden, come here, hurry up. Yeah. I need to get out there. What? Hold this, hold this, hold this. Hold this. Just get a towel. Freaking. Hold it right there like that, okay? Hurry up, hurry up. I gotta go outside and cut the water off. That's hot. Yeah, it's hot. This is how my Christmas Eve is going. <clears throat> there was, there's another leak under the house. A couple of them. And um, Annie said, sounds like there's a leak over by the hot water on the, uh, on the washer. Said, okay. So she left to go get the parts. I came in here to inspect like a good man should. This was up through here like so. Okay, just like that. Just like that one is over there. And there was water. I could hear water coming out of this thing here. I thought, like, huh, where's that water coming from? And lo and behold, they had a little, see this little cover here? Yeah, that little cover. Ah, that's what that was. That was a little cover that they had that covered that hole right there. That they had cut out previously. Well, the good people who fixed this the last time, they were so courteous and kind that all they did, that all they did, We'll stick this like this on there. Didn't glue it or nothing, just stuck it on there. Like that's gonna work. Like that's supposed to work. You, know, you ain't gotta have no, oh no, you don't need no, no nothing on there. Just, just stick it on there. Don't worry about nothing. Just stick it on there just like so. You don't have to worry about a thing. Don't worry about gluing it or nothing. Just stick it on there. You'll be just fine. Yeah, it'll be just fine. Well, I got over there inspecting it, and it blew off. And water went, as you can see, everywhere. Oh, everywhere. Yep, everywhere. Water got everywhere. Anyways, back out here. Water's everywhere. That just about fell, as you've seen. <sighs> Floors are wet, soaking wet. And I gotta get in here and clean it all up. This is truly reminding me of a Christmas story. Where he's like, hey, it's 
a clinker. It's a clinker. Flim flam spinning spinning. Turn and 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 turn Who turned down the damn American force? Turn and turn and turn and flim flam and bloom bloom bloom. That's how I feel. Yep. Two days, cold, cold weather, and water. I had to think as fast as I could. Take the clean towels and stuff out of here. Throw it on top of that. While I ran outside, had Jaden hold that down, I ran outside in five degree weather to shut off the valve. Thankfully, it popped right up so I could turn off the main. I did that. Yeah. And now this is going to have to be fixed before anything else. And hopefully the pipes won't freeze. This is annoying. Beyond belief. But we're going to laugh. We're going to laugh. Here we go, guys. Back in under here. Oh, man, what a mess. Look at all that mess. Look at all that mess from where all that water's ran. Y'all see that? Ain't that horrible? I got to unthaw all that. Take that piece of crap right there off. Put that $100, $120 piece of crap back on. It's bull crap. Well, let's get to it. Ain't nothing left to do but to do it. And then I got to go over here and fix a water leak over there. So, let's do it. Turned up on high. Taking forever to melt this stuff. Look at it, this froze all the way down. All the way up to it. Look how froze it is all the way up through there. That's untold amounts of water. Right there. Well, we just about got it done here, so bring you back as soon as it is melted, and then we'll uh, show you how we get it off there. It's off of there, so what we'll have to do is we'll hold one end with the pipe wrench, we'll turn it, spin it off there. And then get back here and bite it on here and spin the rest of it off. That's how we'll have to do it. So let's get to it. All right, y'all. So got the new one put on right there. That's the new uh, regulator. Everything's working over here. Fix this leak. Ah. Right here. There it is. That's where it's fixed. That shark bite right there. Shove that crack back up in there. <laughs> Get out from underneath there. Take you inside and we'll look at that part that I fixed in there. And then we gotta get ready for Christmas tomorrow. And it's Christmas Eve. Aren't we so excited about Christmas after all this cold and spent $300 well, actually, 350 bucks the past two days to fix a bunch of water lines that I wanted to buy stuff for, for other stuff. Oh, well, that's what it is. Take you in here and show you what we got going on in the house at the water hose, at the water for the washing machine. Don't forget to smash that like button. That notification bell. Good job. Here you go. Thank you. Don't forget to share. Yep. There you go. Good job. And, and subscribe. subscribe.